Does anybody have an opinion about dynamic pricing? <laughs> we all laugh. Uh, Restaurant Technology, Miratech Summit, thank you. First of all, welcome to San Diego. Seriously, Woo! welcome to San Diego. I can't tell you how excited I am to have Miratech here in San Diego. There's so many incredible restaurant professionals, technology professionals. Usually these events are in Las Vegas, Chicago, New York, all the amazing places, but selfishly, now you guys are here at the Fairmont, the Grand Hotel in Del Mar. It's been absolutely incredible. So thank you guys for, for coming. Uh, we really appreciate it. Dynamic versus surge pricing. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story. We like data, we like actually experiencing what is going on in our industry. So I own Cali Barbecue in San Diego. We've been in business for 16 years. We just opened up our third location. Thank you, thank you. We opened up our third location on the Navy base at the Navy Exchange. We took over a former KFC location. Um, it is our first QSR location. Um, we also have two stadium locations in Snapdragon Stadium where the Aztecs play football and we have our main brick and mortar location. Uh, we believe deeply in what we call digital hospitality. We believe that all businesses need to be digital first, especially brick and mortar businesses, especially restaurants. And we also believe that every business is in the hospitality business, whether they know it or not. We have been through an incredible 16 year journey at our main location in Spring Valley. We might have one of the most sophisticated tech stacks um, for technically what is a single unit restaurant with three locations. Uh, I sit on the customer advisory board of Toast. We do content for Toast. We do content for Restaurant 365. Seven Shifts is our partner, Ovation. All many best in class tech solutions um, that we believe in, we share content about. We believe in building in public. I built a media company on top of our restaurant seven years ago. I started our first show called Digital Hospitality and I had this deep belief that I wasn't alone. I was not alone. There were other humans on earth that believed in technology, that believed in hospitality, that didn't have the answers, that were willing to ask for help, and from that show, from that digital hospitality show, we built a media company. And that media company gave us the opportunity to partner with some of the most emerging technology brands if it made sense for our location. So today we're gonna to talk about dynamic versus surge. Um, I brought a prop up here on stage, which was in the video. Um, but does anyone know what this is? Has anyone seen one of these before? <laughs> Does anyone get a newspaper at their house? Can you raise your hand? Still got a couple subscribers. You're keeping them in business, I love it. Um, this is a Wall Street Journal. This is a printed article of the business and finance section um, that Cali Barbecue was featured in. And I'm gonna tell you a story about how this came to be. So 2022, Carl Orsborn, uh, who wrote Delivering the Digital Restaurant. If you haven't read that book with Meredith Sandland, I highly suggest it. They have two books. They're phenomenal um, with the work that they do. But Carl and Ashwin Kalmani, they came to our restaurant and they told us about this new technology that they were developing. And it was dynamic pricing. So the company was Juicer and they were going to be testing out dynamic pricing and they needed restaurants to test this out. We said that we would be willing to do that for third-party delivery, so for Uber Eats and for DoorDash, we would be willing to implement those. Two years, we tested dynamic pricing. This Wall Street Journal article happened after a little event that we all know. <laughs> Wendy's earnings call. So on the Wendy's earnings call, a reporter from the New York Post picked up that the new CEO was going to be experimenting with dynamic pricing. We all saw the press that happened after that. Because we had been using dynamic pricing to dynamically adjust our pricing, and the example in the Wall Street Journal was that our pulled pork sandwich menu price at $15, we would put 
a maximum price of $18 for peak and a low, low price of $12 for when demand was low. So over the course of two years, incremental revenue just for our one location on those two platforms, we would increase $1,200 per month by using dynamic pricing with Juicer. I talked to the Wall Street Journal um, reporter, had a deep conversation about what happened with Wendy's, had a deep conversation about happy hour, had a deep conversation about early bird pricing, that this pricing strategies have been happening in restaurants since the beginning of time. Anytime there is empty seats, we want to fill the seats. Uh, we definitely do not want to surge our guests. Our goal is never to serve our, surge our guest. We are in a business that is a generational business. We're not in a transactional business. If you come to Spring Valley, which is where our community is, you would realize why we believe in the internet the way that we do. We're off the beaten path. Our restaurant would look out of place up here in beautiful Del Mar, but our restaurant is still there 16 years later and we are going to do everything in our power to stay in business and to provide phenomenal hospitality, whether that's physical hospitality or digital hospitality. And I explained this, the reporter was phenomenal. She said, thank you for all this information. Uh, we're gonna print it up. And sure enough, Wall Street Journal prints the article, very specific. We are talking about dynamic pricing, incremental pricing. The article says, restaurants experiment with surge pricing. Surge pricing. So the language that we use, which is interesting to me, being somebody that creates content, makes videos, we're filming this now for YouTube and for our podcast and for Spotify, the language that we use is very important in business, to the consumers, to our investors, to our team. The language that is used in print media is also important. After the Wall Street Journal published, News Nation had me come on their program. National News, also streamed on YouTube, had a great conversation, told them everything that I'm telling you today, went to the YouTube comments, hundreds of thousands of views on this YouTube page. Can I get a show of hands? How many do you think had positive comments about Cali Barbecue how many people on YouTube, users, were happy that we were doing surge pricing? Anybody think? Zero. I don't think anybody was happy. But that gets to the fear. That gets to the fear of what happened to Wendy's. That gets to the fear of every single one of us, why we don't implement change, why we don't invest in technology, why we don't do things. Now, for me, I, find, I found it very funny because I knew that every single person that was on the News Nation YouTube page, I knew that those people would never come to Spring Valley. I have tough skin. Like I said, if you come to Spring Valley, you'll realize why we have such tough skin. But that doesn't mean that we aren't going to invest in the best technology and find the smartest people that are gonna help move our business forward. The restaurant business is such a difficult business but it's a beautiful business when you can get people like this together in a room to share. We believe in building in public. We believe that there are restaurants all over this globe that need your solutions. When I travel with my wife and my son and my daughter and we go to a hotel and that hotel is not using the technology that we're able to use in the United States, I can only imagine how much money they're losing, how much food waste is happening at the all-you-can-eat buffet. Because me and my family, we walk in and they write down with a pencil what our room number is. And you have stations of food. That's a lot of food waste. The technology that we're talking about, whether it's surge pricing, whether it's inventory management, whether it's something that Restaurants 365 does, whether it's something that a point of sale does, all of this stuff matters, but this type of meeting, this type of summit, 
where we can all come together and be open and honest and share. So once I'm done, which I'm going to wrap up pretty soon, I want each of us at our tables to talk about dynamic pricing. Because we all experience dynamic pricing all throughout our lives. I buy tickets to the stadium. I'm a Chargers season ticket holder. I just sold two seats, my season seats, on StubHub. Those prices can go up and can go down. I went and purchased other tickets through game time. Those prices can go up and can go down. We all fly, we all book hotel rooms. But what is one of the biggest problems that we have in restaurants specifically when we talk about dynamic pricing? How do you change prices in your own business? Digital pricing versus printed. How many of you have restaurants that have printed menus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How easy is it to print menus? Easy? easy? Yeah. Not easy? Expensive. Expensive? Any other adjectives? Fun? Exciting? <laughs> no? How hard is it to change prices? You print without prices. I love that. How long have you been doing that? Three years. Three years? No problems? Not many? That's great. So I'll tell you a quick story about what's happening at our restaurant. Uh, in the pandemic, we all went through it, closed our doors, went delivery only. Uh, we, once we reopened to the public, we implemented toast, order, and pay. We went all in on toast, order, and pay. Up to the point where we upset some customers, multiple customers. In fact, we're still trying to resolve some of those complaints. Up to the point where some of the issues that we have with our staff, with training, the way that we do steps of service, the way that we provide physical hospitality, have suffered. So guess what we're doing? We're going backwards. <laughs> We're going back to the printed menus. Now, is that the solution? I'm not sure. But I'm here to be honest with you and to tell you these are real life problems that we are trying to solve in our restaurants. We are still going to be looking for solutions. And when one of our tech vendors comes up with a solution that has to do with dynamic but not surge pricing, we're gonna investigate it. We're gonna raise our hand. We're gonna test it. We're willing to do the work and we're willing to work with our technology partners because we know that it's not about our restaurant. It's not about Cali Barbecue. It's about that we are willing to have a voice. And the companies that we wanna work with, the technology companies and the tech providers that we wanna work with, they listen. They listen they care, they don't always make the th things that we're asking for, but they care and they want to hear. They are obsessed with customer success. They are obsessed with us staying in business. They are obsessed with us opening up more locations because they're a true partner.